Hello everyone, my name is Kunal and I'm the Modern Work ASEAN Technical Lead at Microsoft. Today, we're going to focus on Microsoft Whiteboard. So Microsoft Whiteboard, as you know, today has what we call as templates. However, 99% of the time when we are doing an ideation workshop, we all start with a blank screen. Copilot can help us to build ideas on top and then provide us options for our teams to actually build on top of it. It'll do the first initial way of bringing in the topics together. Whether those topics are about generating specific marketing themes or whether that is a crucial topic like improving security and compliance within the organization. Now I have options to either generate more content or I can simply insert those or I can simply edit my prompt as well as you can see here. So in this specific example, I will suggest Copilot to at least provide me with around 18 different ideas on how I can improve security and compliance within my organization. So right now here, you see all of these starting topic points. Now, if there are multiple people involved into the whiteboard session, they will start editing and they will start working on steps that are required. Now, if there is a specific point where I need further subtopics, I can ask Copilot to generate what are the extra things that I can do to implement stronger uh, password policy, whether it's two-factor authentication, whether it's account lockout policies and stuff like that. Now, imagine this, that now you're six or seven of you in the whiteboard and you filled out everything on this specific whiteboard. And now you want to make sure that this whiteboard is getting containerized into categories that actually make sense when you look at it from a broader lens. Now in categorization, these are the topics that are available in access controls. These are the topics under employee training, and these are the topics under data security and incident response. Now I have an option to regenerate it. I have an option to revert, or I have an option to keep it. Now it's time to summarize all of this and share it across with the rest of the team members who were not able to make it or probably out of your team. So with the summarize capability inside the whiteboard, you can summarize the entire discussion that you have with the link for the whiteboard that can then be used. The summarization happens in a loop component. Now loop component for us is a live table that can then be used, pasted across into multiple places like a chat, like an Outlook email, like a Word document, and it gets updated live as you make any changes onto it. So in this specific summary, you're seeing that the participants that were there, the number of ideas, what were the main themes of the whiteboard session and the whiteboard link. You can either keep it or you can copy and paste this loop component, draft an email and send it across to the rest of your team members as well. So with that, the ease with which you can start ideating and have a structure in place and then summarize all of this kind of makes it easier for us to have our whiteboard discussions in a manner that we were not able to do earlier.